Hello my friends and welcome to the Iron World channel. I have a great episode of Fat Logic for you and if you haven't done so already please hit the subscribe button, like button and enough said, let's just get to the video. I'm hoping that the next Disney princess will not be skinny because that's another huge issue with Disney princesses. Nearly all of them have exactly the same body type and the only fat characters in Disney films are either evil, psychics or both. The only semi-positive fat representation I can think of is Baymax, but there's still a few fat phobic jokes at his expense. Like it would be so hard for Disney to give us a fat character that has their own story and isn't the center of all the jokes. And before anyone comes in saying that being fat is unhealthy, so is too skinny. Not having enough body fat can kill you. We should be teaching children, especially little girls, to love themselves no matter what because the world will try to tear you down no matter what size you are. There's two reasons I can think of why we don't have an obese princess. One, it's supposed to be a role model. You don't want an obese person being a role model. Two, it would make a very interesting story if Princess Jasmine was stuck in bed all day. Just saying, wouldn't make a good story at all. And that's it really, I mean, the rest of it's common sense, I wish you'd use some. And if not, then seek some sort of professional help. That's all I can say. You are still in a diet mentally if you're choosing foods you think are healthy because you fear what will happen if you don't. I don't know if this post is supposed to be saying that if you diet, you're fearing everything and that maybe diets are scary or something. But from my understanding, this thing's kind of pointed to the truth, but trying to put fear behind the truth so you won't face the truth. Is that making any sense? So pretty much they're trying to say that if you eat healthy foods the only reason why you eat them is because you're scared. Which I would be scared too. I don't want to turn into a hippopotamus. The only thing anyone can accurately diagnose when they're looking at a fat person is their own level of weight prejudice. No that's just someone being overly defensive when someone says well you know your knees hurt it's probably because you weigh a lot. And you know your back hurts, that's probably because you weigh a lot. Uh, that is the simple fact of it. And people get very upset when you mention that that their knees might be buckling on if they're weight and their back may be straining because of their weight. Because it can't be their weight because they want to be fat. Ugh. Just, just, just stop it, please. It makes my head hurt. The word obese comes from the Latin word obius which means has eaten itself fat let that sink in this word is oppressive at its core how is that oppressive it's just telling you the truth obese is someone who's eaten themselves too fat that's all it is it's just telling the truth and have you noticed that no one else is trying to bring this up in ooh, a couple of thousand years because let's face it no one else has ever needed to because we've never had this issue with people being a little bit oversensitive about being called fat. Do you know what's worse for your health than weight? Weight stigma? Want some articles from actual professionals? Uh, not if these professionals have more than two chins. That's just my limit. Maybe three actually. If they have three chins, I might listen. But if they have more than three, no thanks. Bodies come in all shapes and sizes. We cannot determine someone's health by looking at them or by having that person step onto a scale. When we learn to appreciate and respect these differences, we're promoting weight exclusivity and body diversity. You know what? You cannot get someone's full health history by looking at them. But you can get a rough idea. Like if I look at someone who's missing two limbs, I know they're going to have a problem doing stuff without those limbs, aren't I? Or it'll be a bit more of a challenge. But when I, like, when I see a big fat person, I know that they're going to struggle to sit inside a certain type of seat. They're going to have problems doing anything for a long period of time. That is normal and I think you guys should stop trying to normalize fat. Because it's not normal, it's not healthy. So please, stop condemning these people to bad lives. My friends, that brings us to the end of the episode, but before you click away, I have a playlist which you can watch more Fat Logic videos. And if you did like this video, please subscribe and like the video. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.